The spindles have been closed for centuries. Our kingdoms cut off from the other realms until now. I had such a great time writing Realm Breaker. It's very much a story about what happens when the classic fantasy heroes that we all sort of know fail. Uh, mm -hmm. and who's on deck to save the world, who's like the JV team of heroes. I call it Lord of the Rings meets Guardians of the Galaxy. And um, I just oh. was to combine so many things that I love into one story, you know, really kick butt heroines and expansive yeah. fantasy worlds and fun tropes and poking kind of fun at the fantasy genre while also having a great mm. time honoring it at the same time. Now, what makes Realm Breaker, you know, different from the other books that you have written? Yeah, so um, I came off a really, really uh, successful series. I was so, so lucky with my last uh, YA novels, Red Queen, mm -hmm. um, and I have such a supportive fan base. And this is very much an escalation of my taste and the way that I write. Um, as artists, we're always hoping to improve ourselves and hoping that the next project is our best project. And I think that's what mm -hmm. I've done with Realm Breaker. It's still very much got the action and the twists that I've become known for. Uh, but I also love the characters so much, and I feel like I've really improved as a writer here. Yeah, sure, sure. Now, you know, being the best-selling author of the Red Queen series, which has sold over 3 million copies, what has been the most amazing part for you out of writing stories that are really resonating with readers and turning into smashing reads? <laughs> well, for me growing up, I was very much a maladjusted teenager, and stories, yeah. movies, books, that was how I connected to the world and also, you know, where I felt safe and something that was a little bit of a distraction from my life that wasn't always the mm -hmm. best and just, you know, sometimes boring and sometimes I didn't like who I was, but in these worlds I could be who I wanted. Um, and getting to become a writer myself and give that back to someone else has been incredible. You know, writing is how I connect to the world and to get to connect with so many people has been such a blessing. This time around, things are a little different for our book tours. You know, I'm used mm -hmm. to touring in person, uh, but I'm, I feel really, really excited that we can still do this and I can still have a virtual event. I have a couple this week um, and get to see readers that way. You know, we might not be able to see each other in person, but at the very least, this is that sort of culmination of all this work and getting to see my book reach readers. It's always the best part. And so I'm glad I get to have a little bit of it. And hopefully for the sequel, we get to have a real tour again. Yeah, oh, absolutely. Well, I think that will be happening very soon, Victoria, because I think the world is starting to, uh, more things are opening up and people are, you know, going out and going to events. And especially at this um, thing that I was learning more about from one of the other producers that I talked to uh, yesterday morning, Vax Live, a show that's coming to ABC. Yes. They uh, really packed a whole lot of people in. I went. I was there on Sunday night. You went? Oh my God, I Victoria. Did. Okay, now give us an insider because, you know, <laughs> here at iHollywood TV, you know, we do a lot of promotion with ABC. Now talk to us about that, Vax Live. So, you know, of course, I guess everyone that was in there, they had to be vaccinated. And yes. I think that they even had to wear a mask. Kind of talk to us about that real quick. Yes, yes. So my, um, my fiance is an ICU doctor and uh, his whole wow. hospital was invited. They're partners at SoFi Stadium. Um, so we were some of the ones who got lucky and got tickets and we had to show our vaccine cards at the door. We had to wear our masks. Um, they had food inside for you if you wanted, but everybody was really good about, you know, maintaining distance, but also keeping masks on. We were sort of up in the seats and there was very much like a concert atmosphere. The Foo Fighters mm. were amazing. They, you could tell that so many of the performers were just excited to be on stage again. Uh, and it was great. It was really fun to kind of see behind the scenes too, because they were filming so people would mess up and go again and it was all mm. just a really good time and a great atmosphere. Now who messed up Victoria? We want to know. <laughs> we'll have oh to wait and see. Maybe it'll make it into the live uh, broadcast. Who knows? Yes or maybe it'll be a blooper reel at the end of their yeah. program. Who knows? By the way who was one of your favorites to say because I hear Jennifer Lopez was there. How beautiful oh, yeah. is she, she in was person? Incredible. I don't want to spoil anything. Jennifer Lopez is Jennifer Lopez. You know, she is a queen and flawless. And then the Foo Fighters, they were awesome too. And they brought out um, a special guest, but I won't spoil who. I just would like to think that Jennifer Lopez maybe is, is, has read one of your books. Wouldn't that be? Oh, oh my God. <laughs> That would be incredible. I'd be happy with uh -huh. if someone in her entourage or one of her kids read my books. Uh -huh. <laughs> right? Oh my goodness. Well, Victoria, this has been a whole lot of fun. Thank you so much for the conversation. And everyone can be sure to pick up the um, Realm Breaker series. It is actually now available today. Today's the release day for you. Congratulations. It is. Today is the day.